Hello everyone, I'm Kyle, and we're going to be playing some Skyrim. Seeing how this is the first episode, we're going to create a new character. In my personal play, I played as a Wood Elf and an Imperial. Uh, the Imperial, I enjoyed it because he had the ability to win all the persuasive arguments. There was like only maybe 5 or 10% of the arguments that I couldn't win. And uh, it just made quests about easier, but it didn't give me any combat advantages, so I played it again. And that time I played as a uh, Wood Elf, and he has really good archery, but archery is a little boring. So I wanted to do this again, but this time I'm going to play with you all as a Magic Caster. And the best Magic Caster race, I think, is a High Elf. So the reason why the High Elf is so much better is because he starts at 150 Magic Points, and every other class only starts at 100. So it's going to help me over in the long run. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy the... Uh, scene here and then once this gets done we will resume and I will start to play. Hey, you! You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? You walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, you could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. If they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts should be of home. Rorikstead. I'm... I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. I bet they had something to do with this. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vilod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Where are they going? Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait! We're not rebels! You've got to tell them! We worked with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel! You can't do this! Halt! Yes, because running's gonna prove your innocence. Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait, you there. 
Step four. All right, I get to create my class here. I'm gonna keep things default so this doesn't take you? very long here. I'm just gonna make a couple of minor adjustments here. Change the eye color and at least the hair color here. And of course, change my name because I don't want to be known as prisoner. You are not with the Thalmor Embassy, are you, High Elf? No. If I was with the Thalmor Embassy, I would right. not be in the chopping block. Captain, what should we do? It's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. Yes, yeah, because following policy and procedure. I'm sorry. That's the right thing to we'll do. Sure you but apparently not for me because I'm an elf. Follow the captain, prisoner. Racist. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. You started this war. Plunge Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon For you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's Earth get this over. Learn our as you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Off of his head! As fearless in death as it was in life. Next, the High Elf! There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next, prisoner! To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. This would be a horrible game if I just died right here. What do you see? All right, here we're gonna finally get to play somewhat. Although I can't do much because my hands are bound. Just gonna kind of make your way over here to this tower here. Where the storm cloaks are hiding. Would the legends be true? Legends don't burn. We'll talk for a little bit, but now we're gonna be running here in a second. We need to move now! Up through the tower. Let's go! And the dragon's gonna burst through here. Burn him to the crisp. We're going to jump out the window here into the building. Jump down to the first floor. Out here. Where we'll meet our Imperial friend here. Still alive, prisoner? Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. Gods guide you. I'm gonna follow him here. 
and so he's gonna run to his comrades. Stay close to the wall. He's gonna hide from the guy here, and he's gonna burn someone else alive. Quickly, follow me. Continue following him through the half-burnt-down house. Hands still bound, and we're just gonna run away from the group of guys. And now here you got the option to follow the storm cloak or follow the imperial. If, no matter what you choose, it doesn't affect whether you get to join the storm cloaks or the imperials. I'm gonna follow the Imperial because I intend to join the Imperials because I've already played as the Stormcloaks. So we're gonna run in here and it's gonna load. So there's really no difference here at the very beginning tutorial, I guess you could say. This beginning mission. The only difference would be is instead of having him as an ally, I would have the Stormcloak guy as an ally. Like there will be some different dialogue, but That's other than the that, there's no difference. Bring us at the end times. He's gonna finally release me from my Shh, bonds. Kid. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There you go. Take a look around. Alright, now we're gonna run over to this chest here. Get some stuff. Now on a weapon, if you hit Y, you favor it. And I'll go into favoriting here in a little bit of detail in a second. I'm going to drop those two things because those things are absolutely worthless. Um, pick up some gold off the table here. Nothing really much. Just a bucket there in the back. Uh, there's a chest here, but it's got nothing in it. But this one has an Imperial helmet and some money in it. So we're going to take those. I'm going to put on the uh, helmet. And I'm going to go back to the magic side of my screen because I do got a destruction and a healing spell. I'm going to go ahead and favor those. Now what this does is I can hit up on the D-pad at any time and have quick access to any of the things that I favorite. I wouldn't put no more of an 8 on here just for the fact that once you have 8 on here it's going to be a bunch of clutter and you might as well just go to the menu at that point. But I have my fire spell and my sword and my healing spell all favored it. So we're going to go ahead and get going. I'm going to follow our buddy here. Come on, Come on. let's get going. And we're going to run into a couple of storm cloaks here around the corner here that we're going to destroy. We need to get moving. That dragon is tearing up the whole key. Just give me a minute. I'm out of there. Hear that? And he just now realizes I'm set fire. Oh yeah, gotta love those slow motion cutscenes where you kill a guy. We're gonna look at him and see if they have anything useful. They have a shield. I'll pick that up. But other than that, I think my current armor is better. Yeah, 25 armor, 7 armor. So yeah. My Imperial armor is better than their armor. And I have the same sword, so nothing new here. I'm not going to use a two-handed weapon because I want to use my magic. And we're going to continue following him. Come on, let's get going. Oh, grabbing the food's always good. Yeah, for some reason I can kick a huge wagon. Must be the Master Chief here. And down the stairs we go. And that's gonna collapse. Kill those guys. Poor bastards. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. What are you doing? We need to get out of Helgen. Now! These Imperials are here. We're going to need them. Did you hear something? Yeah, 
And those guys are toast. And searching them, I see nothing better. Now I'm gonna search the barrel. I'm gonna take all these potions. There's a couple of potions over here. Definitely want to pick up the salt piles. They'll be useful in the alchemy things that we do later. And search the cupboard. Ah, oh, four gold in the cupboard. Got lucky there. Some bread on the table. Take the wine. Those barrels I can't access. Oh, there's food here. Harvest the pheasant and the rabbit. And some wine here on the table. There you go. Some more rabbits on the, I guess you want to call that a chandelier. And our potion and some salt piles here. And you might want to check the sacks here for some food. Go ahead and take those. These sacks are empty. Looks like I've taken everything that I could out of here, so we're on to the next room now. Now the reason why we're going to ditch the sword later is because I'm going to be using a bow. It's just so much better in the long run because you stay out of so much trouble and have a less chance to hit your ally. Especially if you're using a... Uh, short sword. I mean a bow compared to a short sword. And these guys are going to go on and talk for a minute, but we're going to go over this sack here. And it's going to have four lock picks. There's a book on the table. Some books give you skills. Other books are just there to uh, I guess you can read them to gain some history and knowledge about the uh, Elder Scroll series. In here there's a mace and a shield. A uh, couple books down here. It's a little dark. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Now you can uh, change your settings to where it's more brighter. I prefer to keep them a little dark, just because it gives the game that creepier feeling. Now we're gonna go over here, and I'm gonna explain how to lockpick here. Uh, Basically, you move back and forth with the left D-pad, I mean the left uh, stick, and you're going to try to figure out how to pick the lock, and uh, when you turn the thing with the right thumbstick, if the lock doesn't move, then you're going to have to move the left thing until you get the right position to where you'll actually start making the lock turn. Now, you're not going to get it every time. Now basically give you a guideline where the position are was the last time. I always like to use these bolts and these little dashes here on the side here. These little, I guess you want to call them knobs. They're a good idea of where you're keeping your position and they're incredibly more useful when you're trying to pick master and expert locks so you know where you've already picked. So we were pretty close there last time so we're going to try it here. These are pretty easy locks to practice on, so I would suggest if you're new at this lock picking system to go ahead and unlock everything just to make sure that you get the understanding of how this lock system works. And you definitely want to open up this cage though, at the very minimum, because there's a spell in here and a little bit of gold on the bottom. Take that. Some more golden potions on there. And some ropes if you wanted to be a magic caster. We're not going to go ahead and use those. We're going to go ahead and keep my light armor. Those are good, but they're not going to help too much. I'd much rather keep my armor class up. nothing in here and that's pretty much going to be it here now I'm going to do one thing quick before we move on I'm going to favorite my potions here and there and there's nothing in here but if you need more lockpick practice I would definitely suggest that you go ahead and do it but 
if you just want to raise your lock picking skill like I do, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyways. And we just raise the level in lock picking. And there is a uh, skeleton in here. We get some gold off that. There's also a coin purse. Also gave us seven more gold. And that's it here. Continuing down the hall. Oh, there's a couple of guys. Nothing on him. Skeleton have anything? Oh, of course. Gold. Always got gold on the skeleton. Like to hide that gold in their bones somewhere. I don't know where they would hide it. Guess maybe the skull or something. We need to find a way out of here. And continue on through these catacomb areas here. We're gonna run into some more bad guys here. Just burn him real quick. Didn't mean to attack him, I didn't realize that was my friend. Um, these guys have nothing on them, and they have nothing on them either. So we're going to go ahead and continue, because there's some bows trying to shoot us over here. Now, if you look on the ground, you'll see this shiny stuff. The shiny stuff is oil. I would definitely go ahead and take advantage of that when you see that in dungeons. It can make some fights a lot easier. And because he wants to block, we're going to go ahead and burn him. So yeah, be sure to take advantage of those opportunities that they give you to make combat easier. Definitely take the longbow. And I don't think I have any fur gauntlets, so we're going to go ahead and take those and put those on. Yeah, equip those. And we're going to go ahead and favor that. So we can have that in our options here later. And I think I'm going to go ahead and equip it right now. It's automatically going to equip the arrows for me. And moving on. Well, let me check back here to make sure I grabbed everything that I could. I'm pretty sure that's everything, though. That's yeah, nothing, nothing there. Yeah, just more corpses. Yep, nothing useful. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on. We'll go ahead and sprint over here. We'll go ahead and continue across. Now I'm going to go ahead and start sneaking since I have the uh, bow equipped now. Now with this crosshair in front of you, normally it's this, but when you go in the sneak mode, it gives you this dashed line here. Now when you have this dashed line here, it means you're completely hidden from the enemy. Now whenever we spot a bad guy here, I will show you what happens when this eye changes. We're going to go up here and see if there's any treasure up here. Ah yes, the skeleton. He's got a coin purse and see if there's anything on him. Some more money. See if there's anything up here real quick for for a while. Because I like to double check everything. Nope, nothing here. Alright. So that ends that little expedition over here. So let's continue on this way here. Go back in the sneak mode here. Now it's a little slower, but it was a lot safer. This is why I like bows, because I can actually use the sneak function and get extra damage dealt. And we're going to come up here, and we're going to be fighting some spiders. Try to take care of these from a distance here. 
See, notice how the eye slid open a little bit. It means the bad guys are aware that I'm here, but they don't know where I am. That's the end of that. And because I just killed all the enemies, they just went back to normal. Now they kind of know I'm here, but they don't know I'm quite here. Now the eye opens completely all the way, and I will go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Oh, I just killed all the bad guys, so I can't do that. Going to collect some poison from these things real quick. I'll show you what I mean by the next thing. Oh, a silver ring. It's a nice drop. Get my arrows back. Now, there is a corpse up here. Somewhere out there it is. Is there anything else in here? And those things don't have anything. Some bones on the ground. And here we go. And we're coming up to one of the last fights on this level here. It's a skeleton up here. Let's see if there's anything up here. He does have a potion and a dagger. We'll pick that up. You can always sell those when we get to a town. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. You see her? I'd rather not. Watch where you step. And there's a bear up here. We're gonna go ahead and shoot this. And I really almost messed up that shot, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot it. Notice how the eye opened up a little bit. He's aware I'm here. And now that the eye is fully open, I'm completely detected. And I went ahead and killed it. So when I'm detected like that, he is definitely going to start to attack me. Killed the bear. Took his pelt. We can make some leather out of that. So we can make some nice leather armor here when we get to town. Alright, nothing over here but bones. Anything up here worth a while? No, nope, doesn't appear to be worth anything up here. And more bones here. And I th this will about do it here. We're about to head out of the cave. So be sure to tune in Sunday where I'll do the next episode and we'll pick it up from here. Um, I'll see you next time.